This is what you can get from Sculpture Depot. These wire uh, armatures that are already pre-made. Uh, you'll still have to do your measurements uh, uh, as far as uh, anatomical measurements, but these are pretty close. Uh, the only place you'd have to do it is in the shoulders and the length of the arm and the length of the legs. Um, this is an armature support system that is made by the uh, uh, Sculpture Depot people and uh, these are under $20 a piece. I'm not going to tell you the price because it could change um, at, with time and I, I don't know when you're seeing this video. Uh, this is as of uh, uh, no, uh, October 15th uh, 2018. These are under $20 a piece. And uh, this is quite a bit more, uh, but you can reuse this arm uh, support here over and over and over again. Now let me show you how to set up your armatures so that you can uh, work on them. You figure out where your figure is going to stand. I'm going to have my figure standing right about centered here. So I'm going to, I marked out on my sculpting table the exact center of the sculpting table with four lines and I'm going to put the position of this board right on the center so that uh, when I'm sculpting I it's exactly the same distance from me at all times. I do that for photography reasons too. All right I'm going to place this uh, armature and sometimes you might have to ex get a longer board. I'm just doing this for demonstration right now. And uh, I'm using one inch screws to anchor this uh, to the board. Your armature is very important. The armature support is even more important. When you get to above a certain height in a figure, clay is not strong enough to hold itself up. Very soft. I use... In this case, I'm using J-Mac clay, which is a plastiline clay. Let's see. Yeah. And then you want to run a screw on each corner. Diagonal corners of the uh, board so that it doesn't move around while you're sculpting. That's anchored properly now. Now I'm going to show you how to use this uh, uh, armature system, that the support system. You raise it up and you lock it in. Now I'm going to go down. Let's see. I'm going to use some pair of pliers here. To loosen up the uh, nut and what this does is that you can lower and raise the armature support down to a comfortable position in which to uh, support your figure. I'll be back when I get this uh, <laughs> that's right. All right, you want to test out where it falls on your 18 inch figure. Now, I like to leave about an inch, maybe two, depending on the base uh, that you want underneath your figure. And so that's about a good place. I might raise it up just a little bit more 
So, that's a good position right there. Let me just bring this one down. And what this does is it locks it in position where you got it. Once you got it in a position that you want, you take your pliers. I don't know. Anyway, you tighten up the bolts, and it'll it should keep it from moving. It may move still, but uh, once you anchor the whole system down, it won't. Now, uh, let's see. This is out too far, so you do the opposite. There's no easy way to do this. <laughs> you just have to do it. Well, it's at the right length away from the support to the uh, sculpture, and I want the sculpture centered it's just about the right length right there and we go up just a little bit more okay now I gotta bring this bolt in you probably can get these uh, threaded rods at the hardware store, the same size and everything. And you can have them cut to different lengths so that you don't have this sticking out and hitting you in the face when you turn your clay. You can use a pair of hacksaw and saw off the part you don't want. I'm not going to do that because I don't know exactly how I'm going to use this armature support. keeps it from moving back and forth. Now, I break this nut. Now normally, you'd put your wire frame in this here. In fact, you can if you wanted to. Let me show you. I'm going to part this frame a little bit with a pair of needle nose pliers. Take off one washer, leave the other washer on. There's a groove right here. I can't turn all the way around because the wall's in the way. There's a groove right here, and I've got to reangle this. So it's more up, up and down. There we go. There's the groove. You want to have it up and down. nut back here and you put the wire or you put the washer on first one washer and you put the wire in that groove and you put a washer on the front and you put the nut on the front of that and you tighten it down And if it isn't exactly straight, you just straighten out the uh, armature. And there you got your armature set up for the, uh, the wire frame.
depending on the figure you're doing, if you're doing a female, you want your figure to be one and a half heads wide. So there's a half head length marked off there. And so if you wanted to make that as your measurement for the width of the uh, shoulders, you'd want to put the head or the neck, the center of the neck, halfway between the outside part of the shoulder and the outside part of the shoulder. And that way you get your, your shoulders the right <laughs> length on both sides. The reason I use a stick is because I just saved time. So there's the half measurement. Now you need to subtract for clay, and I always go in about maybe a quarter of an inch and so I have enough room for clay without the wire popping through. But I'm going to go with a full figure of a man, and he'd be two heads wide in the shoulders, and he's already figured out pretty well. There's a neck measurement right there at the uh, center of uh, the two heads, and uh, I want to uh, square off the shoulders just a little bit. All right, I'm going to bring these two close, and I want to straighten out this wire and straighten out this wire. Now, I'm going to take there's a two head measurement for the man's uh, shoulder width and then center for his neck. I'm going to go back a oh, quarter of an inch. And uh, I'm going to do it on the same on both sides. So I'm going to use my calipers to uh, measure in. Because you want your shoulders the same width even with the reduction for the uh, clay. So that's where I want to bend the uh, armature. I can get these mon monkey jaws or whatever it's called. I'm going to mark that with my magic marker. It says I can find it. There it is. Like I said, it marks on everything, and I want to do the same on the other side. So I'm going from center to there. Now you want to go down one and a half heads, and I'm going to flip that around. Down to the elbow is one and a half heads. I don't know what position the arms are going to be in yet, but uh, that gives me at least the uh, measurement for the uh, shoulder, or the uh, elbow. All right. It's about one head length from the elbow to the wrist. I like to go maybe a well, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch longer, just for safety's sake. You always looks more heroic if they're just a little bit longer than a measurement. That's the wrist. One head length. To the palm of the hand. <coughs> hand is about one half head length. I'm going from the half mark to there. And I want to uh, Bend this. Actually, I'm going to bend it back on itself. So now you got an armature for the uh, wrist. The uh, hand, the width of the, sh of the uh, between the two uh, femur, ideally it's one head, and uh, I want to go down four heads from the top of the head, or the uh, thing, and I'm going to almost go to the halfway point 
to go up for the clay. That's how, where you want the top of your clay to be so you don't have wire popping through. And that puts your halfway point right there at the uh, where the two wires come out. And so I want to take that out and take that out. Now I want to set the width of his hips to one head length. Now this is ideally again, now this is what the Greeks laid out thousands of years ago. And artists have been using that uh, measurement for years. Well, for thousands of years. So we got that. We want to set the angle. It's still a little wide on that side, but then again, this isn't exactly uh, center either. This is more center right here, so that does work out. All right. Now, from the femur to the, uh, the knee is two heads, ideally. down to the two heads. Now let me just double check, make sure I'm correct here. It's best to catch your mistakes while it's in the armature stage and waiting until after you get all the clay on. Once you get the clay on, it's hard to change. Oh, it might help if I went to the actual two heads. <laughs> okay, and okay. And then another two heads down to the bottom of the feet, which is just about where the bend is. So that's how you set up your uh, sculpture. Then you can arrange your uh, sculpture any way, way you want. If you want to have this figure squatting, I'll show you how to do that real quick. I'll be back. Alright, so you want to have the figure kneeling on the ground. Uh, you arrange the legs any way you want to. Uh, and then you can angle this. This is the beauty of this uh, system of uh, ar uh, armature support. You can change the angle any way you want and bring out the uh, armature to a, a point where you want it to be and uh, then lock it in and it's locked for good. So that's and that, and that way you can change the angle of your body and all the things that you need to do to make it right for your design and your your vision. So you want to have him resting his arm. Oop, and kind of tighten that just again. There we go. Bring the shoulder down and bring this shoulder up. You know, when one goes down, the other one goes up. And uh, so you want to have the arm up here. Uh, holding something up or the possibilities are, are just endless as far as what you can do with the armature. Now remember you're going to have to lower that arm down to where you think the clay is going to be because you don't want to have it cut into the leg. So you probably would want to bring back the elbow a little bit and bring the arm forward just a little bit. So that's uh, the armature system from uh, Sculpture Depot where you can buy these armatures, these uh, wire frames. I mean, I, it took me time. It took me uh, probably an hour. But if I had made this armature myself, measuring out and all that stuff, then putting the wire together and wrapping the wire, this would have taken a half a day, if not a full day, of just doing that part. And this is only taking an hour. The wire wrapped wire keeps the clay from sliding off the uh, wire and get, 
gives it good support. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and then uh, you got to figure out about where the head, the bottom of the chin is. Let me get my. Oh, I dropped my stick. Naturally, I'll tell you for a sculptor, kind of most uncoordinated son of a gun you ever saw. Okay, the uh, top of the head is, or top, bottom of the chin, is one half head length from the uh, center of the shoulder. I'm going to take this marker. And mark that. And that's just about right at the bottom of the chin right there. And that puts the top of the head right there. So, it's always good to mark where your different parts of your body are. All, All right. right, I hope this has helped you. Uh, just want to remind you, I have uh, instructional DVDs on how to sculpt. I've got uh, nine DVDs. Two of them are two-disc DVDs. They're a bit more expensive. One on creating a horse from scratch. That's making the armature and everything else. To... Uh, putting the clay on and the muscles and all that stuff. And then I've got a two disc uh, DVD on creating a Viking. I picked a Viking because it's, it, I, it's non-Western. A lot of people like doing Nordic type things and heroic type things. And so I've got a two DVD uh, set on that and uh, it uh, shows how to make the armature and, uh, and all the, the shield, uh, everything. So, check out the uh, description below this video. Um, there's a link to my DVDs that I have for sale. And uh, buy one, or buy several. I've got uh, one on making a horse's head. I've got one on a bust. Um, several of them have the true form armature in them, but showing you this, you don't really need it. You can just get your armatures from uh, Sculpture Depot and make your own armature and make your own art. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> I hope you've uh, learned something and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.